Hey everyone, and welcome back. Today, we are gonna cover some key toddler discipline tips. And if you're interested in many, many more resources on how to manage toddler behavior, be sure to click on the link in the comments below and enter your email so I can send you our toddler discipline kit for free. Now, toddlerhood is prime time for big emotions and testing limits, which can make it a very, very frustrating stage for parents. And while there's no magic words to immediately stop every tantrum, there are some strategies that you can use to help your child learn to manage their emotions and respect expectations. Now, over four decades of research points to authoritative parenting as the gold standard. And it's this parenting style that promotes using a balance between structure and emotional sensitivity when approaching discipline. So for instance, uh, this parenting style says that we should focus on the behavior, not the child. So instead of saying bad girl, you could say biting is bad. Another hallmark of this parenting style is explaining why the behavior is unwanted. So we don't bite because biting hurts people. And this explanation can turn discipline into a teachable moment. So let's take a look at some key tips for managing toddler tantrums through this lens of authoritative parenting. Now, experts always remind us that toddlers are more prone to tantrums when they are hungry, tired, or if they have access to stuff that should be off limits. So routines and baby proofing are two essential elements to stopping a tantrum before it starts. When a toddler is well rested, fed, and you're not constantly saying, no, don't touch that, this can help to stop some of these meltdowns before they get started. Another super helpful tool is the distract and redirect method. And this involves shifting their attention away and redirecting it with something positive and fun. So if your child just cries their heart out every time grandma leaves, having that favorite toy or fun activity planned can help to distract them and redirect their energy and attention. It can also be super helpful to know when to connect with a child through a tantrum and when to ignore a tantrum. Now, when a toddler is overtired, frustrated, or just very, very sad, it could be a good time to connect with them, hold them, or show them some empathy. So for instance, if your child's favorite toy suddenly breaks, connecting with them, showing them some empathy, and letting them know that it's okay to be sad and that you're there for them, can be a really great way to ease these overwhelming feelings in this situation. Now, on the other hand, toddlers need to know that tantrums are not an effective way for them to get what they want. So if your child is writhing and screaming on the floor because you won't give them a cookie before dinner time, then it's perfectly okay to ignore the behavior and then respond positively when they start to calm down. Now, overall, when it comes to toddler discipline, consistency is key. Thanks for joining us today. We'll see you next time.